we go. We've got that loaded. We've got our arrow pointing to the front of the engine and we're gonna lubricate the top of the ring first. And it just helps make everything slide in a little bit easier. Once that's done, I'm gonna show you because this is probably the most common thing that guys are gonna use to load. It's just super easy to break, really, really easy to break. If you're gonna break a ring, you're typically gonna always break the oil ring. It's the first to load. It doesn't take a lot. So you gotta be really careful when you're doing this. It's always important that where this gap is, try not to, to put it where it would overlap the ring opening itself. So we've got zero, 120, 360. I might put my gap over here like this so that I don't actually have a gap within this window area. I'm gonna slide this over gently. And once it's located that way, I wanna put it just to the top of my piston. There's a reason for that. I'm gonna compress it with my hand first before I go cranking. So now that I've got this, I'm gonna actually snug my ring compressor up a little bit. And with my left hand, I'm compressing it, making sure that everything is actually seated into the ring line. 